Welcome to Game Devs Play Games, where we play games and talk about game design. That we do. That we do. We're playing Action Free still. Hang out with Jonas. Jonas. Is that a circle you can interact with? Maybe not. No. It did kind of look circly. Maybe that was just like circle-y. a thing on the door. I don't know why a barn. That was like a mini barn almost. I don't know why that would have like a knocker. But... It's like a lighthouse. Lighthouse. Well, there was a lighthouse next oh, to it. Oh, here we go. Now maybe I can tune in here. Oh, that's totally a radio symbol. So we were talking about this off camera because we, some of the commenters were like, you should tune into, or you should like read the, the signs to like. Three? Sorry, go ahead. This data command annex, as it had been dubbed, was used during the base's early years as the communication nerve center for outside military installations. It was also the primary the office of Marianne Bozak, a civilian no who joke. developed communication yeah, guys, protection just... through the invention of the famed <laughs> so. wall system. In retrospect, the sign, the, the little frequency the identification. Yeah, and the wall, symbol on the, um, wave assisted the, the sign, sign, it looks, looks like a radio thing. It's like, uh, 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 Through which they could use their portable two-wave radios to unlock prescribed doors and gates. Though the mechanics are considered outmoded today, the island still uses this security method to honor its rich history. Oh, so this is talking about unlocking with this radios. data command. Annex. Okay, so it's something we already kind of know about. Although I don't think we crossed this building before. Oh, maybe we could have. I'm not totally sure. No, we sure. haven't. Whoa. When? No, I don't think so. Maybe. Where I think. Where are they? Uh, what do you think they are? I don't know. I thought that the world was kind of getting warped. Because look, even the tree down here is weird. And it doesn't sound like wind. There's no other like graphical things to suggest wind. I mean, this isn't the way we're supposed to be going, but I'm curious. Curious. <laughs> That's fair. I feel like this is the most control they've they've put in our hands. Because even even when we went to go save Ren, we kind of had like a pretty straightforward path to take. Although there was a little bit of area we could have explored. Let's go, Jonas. It makes me wonder though, like, at what points are we actually allowed to deviate from the path, and how far are we allowed to go, and what could we discover? Is it possible that we could just go down a path and like it lead to nothing and just waste a lot of time? Or are there like other secrets hidden around in this this game world? Who knows? But I could also be totally wasting time doing this. So that's true. I'm just—is this? No, I think this is how we got to the beach in the beginning. You think so? Oh, maybe you're right. Yeah, definitely. Oh, it totally is. All right, I'm going back up, guys. Though it would be interesting if there was something at the beach, because we haven't been at the beach since shit went down. Yeah. Do you still want to see? Kind of do, yeah. Even though it's probably gonna take a little while. Well, if we don't find anything, we can just cut back to us climbing up there. Okay. For sake of not wasting your guys' time. Oh, there's the beach. Huh. Go to the beach. It'd be interesting if there was actually some kind of like time system going on behind the scenes that the player is never made aware of. So it's like, if you take too long, people start same. like freaking out a little more, or different things happen. Our beers are still here. Yeah. Huh. Okay. There's definitely something that, in if I start a personal playthrough of this, I feel like I'll spend a lot of time exploring. Yeah these areas again but anyway we'll, we'll making different choices like yeah for sure so we'll, we'll cut back to us being at the top so you guys don't have to sit through that this is all right we're oh, back like, this is whatever but are you like religious at all i mean my dad said your mom wasn't but it doesn't i have... can probably guess where you're going with this but i'm gonna ask anyway why i only bring it up because well because my mom was methodist and but i don't know i was just wondering if you were well, what about it rubbed off on you? Uh, faith discerns the things of God. I heard that a lot as a kid, and it's been on my mind tonight. Some aspects of it just, um, help me, I guess, day to day. A little. Like what aspects? Just the, um, that everything, well, not that everything happens for a reason or whatever, but just that some things are inevitable. I don't know, 
I'm just babbling now. Is that? Hmm. Oh my God, is that Clarissa? She's. Well, well I was gonna say okay, but oh. I'm not too sure about that. She's alive. You, you're alive. Man, I've never been so happy to see you in my anything. life. Oh Jesus, she has the. She's doing the thing, the eye thing. Christ, this is not. I am not getting used to this. I'll be honest. Okay, just <laughs> oh, I should pull her front. This is uh, this is just really lost its charm. I have to say. Maybe they want to. Maybe the ghosts or whatever want to help us somehow. Is that the like point of trying to trying to whatever to talk through us or something? I guess. Only one way to find out. Larissa, how are you uh doing, hun? Alex, little help over here. Man, so why don't you crawl down from there? Jonas being like, I am not getting used to this. Never have I agreed with you more, Jonas. <laughs> she even just, oh, you were close. There you go. She even seems like more red and misty than before. It really got a hold of her, whatever it is. Yeah, I wonder what it is. Anybody else. I wonder what it is, too, about some of these characters that makes them more or less oh, prone. Jesus. You think you can control me? Clarissa? Ooh. I'm... I'm trying to help you. This is... This will... Help me. Help me. How will that help me? I was looking forward to seeing you. Yes, I used to dream about something like this. Don't you... Uh, there's a ghost in you right now. They're, they've, like, perverted this ghost. Oh. Sounds pretty scary, kids. Better leave the night light on. When you're off, the little machine has no more heart than a brain. No more heart. Is she okay, or...? Oh, she's... Clarissa, are you okay? <sighs> Steady, just... just take it easy. I'm fine. I can... I'm fine. Okay, just take it slow. You've just... been through something. Do you remember anything that happened? I remember waiting in Fort Milner and seeing you. That's it? How did I get here? We, I think we were hoping you could tell us that, but I don't even know if it matters. You're here now. The usual answer to any question tonight has been, I have no idea. And sorry to say, but this is no I don't want to tell her that we really don't that. remember anything. <laughs> no. no, I remember something. I remember you with that radio. And I remember feeling like you were the reason all of this was happening. Wait, it's Clarissa's turn already? Yeah, it's my turn. What do you mean, it's Clarissa's turn already? I haven't even asked one question. Everyone's what? asking me. I get to do the asking now. Oh, guys, okay, I know you think we're still playing truth or slap or whatever, but this isn't real, so... Well, also wait. merging two Clarissa scenes. Clarissa hasn't gotten a chance mm -hmm. to ask something yet, so... Yeah. And you, of all people, should know what my question is going to be, because I'm not going to waste it. Alex, what did you do? Explain why me and my best friend, and your idiot best friend, and your new step- Clarissa, please don't draw a chalk line here. Don't make factions. Just, we have to stick together if we're going to make it through this. Jonas, now you're seeing who you're stuck to until graduation. Clarissa, seriously, I can vouch for this. This isn't her fault. It has to be her fault. Of course it's her fault. There's no other way this story goes. She created- Why? Why does it have to be my fault? Why does it have to be your fault? Are you kidding no, me? No, come on, Clarissa. Let's not do this right You're now. You're gonna learn, Jonas. I swear to God, the town looks at her like she has a red letter tattooed on her freaking Clarissa. forehead. And the giant this thing is my lit fault up the brother Christmas died? tree reason why is that Michael is dead because of her. Because of her. Like- It would take a very sick person to see it that way, and I would love to hear the explanation. Michael was gonna leave town. He was free. He was out of here until this one convinced him to take her swimming for one last God knows what. And he drowned. He drowned in Horn Lake while this one could barely flap her arms. Clarissa. It doesn't make it my fault. Anyone could have been there, anyone. And then they would have had to watch him die, you unbelievable prick. Anyone wouldn't have watched him die, Alex. Anyone else would have done something. Okay, enough, seriously. This That's is why they hate Clarissa, each other. This is so. Yeah. I, I can't even believe we're talking about this right now. She's enough. I mean it. Jonas, it, it was awful. All right, it's still awful, and I. I know. I know it's okay. I know. But right now we're gonna break into that office and we're gonna find the key. 
and we're going to go home. No. No, what do you mean no? All the outs in free. So let's... All the outs Wait, are free? What? Wasn't Clarissa free. with us like two seconds ago? That's crazy. She was... It was like she was just here. Did she run back to the gate? Oh, damn it. Yeah, she was just here. Wait, I'm getting... It's deja vu again. Are we... Did we get glitched again? <sighs> you know, I don't... I don't understand how what we did in that cave is making... Making any of this happen. Like, what are the triangles? What are the gates? What are the... Why are there ghosts? Why... Why is any of this happening? Okay, well, I'm not gonna... Whatever. We're here to get the key, and then we can leave... Yep, this isn't budging. Well, the lock looks, uh, less than modern. Let's just brute force it, both of us. It might splinter, but we should get in. I don't get enough breaking down doors in my life, really, so I'm not gonna complain. <laughs> I'm assuming this is the door... Well, hold on. <laughs> All right. Okay. Before you go Let's in see there. see if Ren's plan was a good one or not. Ren's a good egg. If he thinks there's something in here, there probably is. I once saw him guess the exact change in his couch cushion down to the nickel. Damn. Good for him. <laughs> okay, okay, well, that's all we have for this episode. Um, uh, we really had little chance to talk during that one, but that was that was particularly interesting. So, is the lake that Michael drowned in, that's not in this area, is it? I'm not sure. It could be, because he used to take her camping here all the time. Oh, that's true. And okay. if it was, like, one last time... So I wonder if there is some truth to this being "quote unquote" Alex's fault. Well, not like complete truth, right? Like a like pointed finger truth. Well, again, it would take a sick person to see it that way, but right, no. right, exactly. Well, it depends on on like whether it's because he drowned, or maybe there's something else, or maybe I, it's just because Michael. Maybe this is Michael's ghost breaking that wall, and it's because it's just her brother, and that's the only reason why it's her fault. Well, like they were saying, Michael and her went swimming. Maybe she went out too far and Michael went to get her is what it sounds mm -hmm. like. And then he drowned and she didn't save him. But she was she's much younger than yeah. him. Huh. So, I guess question of the day. Um, maybe it's a little too late to ask a question like this. But I guess, what do you think that they are doing, I guess, in the narrative sense to make things, um, I guess, both be confusing and yet slowly feed us clues. Is that... Do you think that's worth talking about? I, I think you could be more specific with it, but, like, what are some of the instances in which they fed us clues? Because at this point, when they started having that conversation, we know where it's going. Mm -hmm. Because they've given us enough. So where, where do they give it you enough? And did you need more? Yeah, yeah, maybe that's because it's pretty easy to make things confusing for the player, but it's a different struggle to give them just enough information to kind of like feed them along. Um, so I think that's a better way of putting it is, is where, where have they given the player clues and how did they use it to give the player just enough um, so that it like makes you want more, um, but helps like make the player ask more questions. I know that's a little bit of a complicated question, but I think it's, for a game like this, that's essential to make the game work. So I think it's worth talking about. Mm -hmm. Cool. Well, thank you for watching, everyone. Be sure to vote on what you want to see after this, um, because it won't be oxen free because we'll be done with it. Um, beat this game. <laughs> and until then, we will see you in the next episode. Later. Bye, everyone.